I'll be going through your past, present, challenge, and outcome. So we start with the recent past, and we have the Ace of Swords. So, with the Ace of Swords, this could have been a time for new beginnings in some way in your life on many levels and several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning it could have been started by a separation of some kind from a relationship or from a job situation. You knew that this anxiety producing such or as such a new beginning could have sometimes been, it could have sometimes been that underneath it all was good, beneficial energy that was to get you where you wanted to go. Now, with the Ace of Swords in a reading, it shows us or it calls it calls on us to not be afraid to take a leap of faith if it's in our best interest. And we have this card paired with the Hierophant. Okay, with the Hierophant, it's very much about doing the right thing. You could have been struggling with issues that you were unsure about what is right for you to do. You knew that the answers were within you. You remember that the right thing is what is right for you also. This is also a card that is very much about spirituality. It could be from traditional religion to earth-centered spirituality and any other spiritual notions that you could have conceived of at that time. There could have been tension between your ideal of spirituality and the right thing to do and the ideals of others around you. So you stood up for your own beliefs. The rules and the system of doing things were probably playing a major role at that time in the past. Rituals of any sort or rituals of any kind would have been helpful to you then even if it was just going to the movies with a friend every third Saturday. Now that's with the recent past and we move on to the present we have the king of I'm sorry the queen of wands. Now the queen of wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy about her. She's usually an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but not always. So when not Referring to an actual person, this card stands for getting a lot accomplished and often focuses on work or career, but it could focus on, or the focus could be on something else, 
not necessarily work or career. Now, the Queen of Wands in the Tarot, it's positive, uplifting energy. When it stands for a woman in your life, she's a good friend who is solidly on your side, even though she may seem a bit self-absorbed. So if you are trying to conceive and this card appears, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. We have this card paired with a chariot, which indicates a lot of energy, but not free-for-all energy. It's directed, controlled, and has a goal in mind. So you are likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you are willing to do to make them come to life. This could be pointing to determination and ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember though that you need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to be truly successful. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, the Queen of Wands is about a female fiery energy that is in your life. It could be a good friend. And just know that this good friend or good female that you know, they're on your side, even if you think they're not. Because they could seem a bit self-absorbed. And because it's paired with the chariot, you need to remember that you're going to need to use both intellect and your heart with this person in order to be truly successful with them or the matters or the situations in your life. And that's your present. And we move on to the challenge. We have the Eight of Swords. Now, if you take a look at the picture in this card, it's showing that you could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're weary of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. So think through what it is you're afraid of. The truth of the matter is that it's probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. It's all in your head. And we have this card pair with the Empress. Now the Empress, it does not play by the rule, or she does not play by the rule if you're a female. She has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. That doesn't mean she will always get her way, but she is a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. She can signify coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. There are many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is only one of them. 
the empress can encompass any or all of them. So with these two cards paired together, with the eight of swords, it's just letting you know that you could be holding back due to fear. And just remember the fear is, it could be all in your head or much less frightening than you're making it out to be because it's paired with the Empress. And just know that the Empress, she doesn't play by the rules. And this could be a time of abundance for you, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. It could be in different areas of your life. Okay, and then that's going to be your challenge. And now we move on to the outcome. We have the strength curve. So with the strength curve, it's important now for you to make time to meditate and contemplate and spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and have a lot of kids or a lot of children. Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Outward things or things on the outside will be going okay for you now, but what is of most importance is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability to have, but you also have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're doing. And we have this card paired with the Six of Cups. And once again, if you take a look at the image on this card, it's about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not, not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. We all, we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking about the best of years have gone by, then we can become, or that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So with these two cards paired together, with the strength card, it's just letting you know that things on the outside, they will be going well for you but just remember that it's important to keep your head straight never lose patience with yourself or what you're doing because you have the six of cups you could be thinking too much about your childhood or you could be thinking too much about children or the kids in your life, okay? And you want to focus on yourself and maybe spending some time alone if that's what you feel that you need to do. And just make sure your thoughts are not becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy if they are not if they're thoughts that are not in your best good. And that will be your outcome. So Virgo, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. 
I thank you so much for watching and have a great day.